In this exercise, we're going to try and learn how to drill some holes. I will uh, double click the per process here and I will hit play just to simulate what we're doing. I'm going to slow it down as much as I can by going into my options settings on the bottom. So it looks like a little gear in the bottom of this. And uh, that's our options. And I'm going to slow this down. And I guess it minimizes the OK button now and hit play. So we're going to create this and make sure that we can drill all the holes. And if we can, we know NC will be happy and be able to do it too. If they can't do it, we'll show them how. So this is uh, program number one. I've got a tool in here. Let's see if I can double click it. Uh, I don't want to screw this up. So uh, this is the drill. That's our process. Okay. I see. I'm going to exit out of this. I'm supposed to be able to cancel that and click on this one here to run this so I can see the material up on the top here. I'm up here if you haven't seen where I'm at. And select the play button. Oops, I turn it on. That light blue colors on. I'll hit play. Nope, it's not working. So, dang it. Um, I'm going to exit this. So, I'm going to click on this. I'll try and hit the simulation. And I just did it without that thing on though. So let's exit out. Let's click the manufacturing process and turn this on. And we'll hit the simulation. Dang it. And there it goes. Crash. All right. I'm going to try and simulate this again. You'll notice that uh, it's drilling bigger holes because I don't have the right size tool in there. So the CAD system isn't smart enough to know what size hole you're intending. So you got to make sure you incorporate the right hole size. All right. So to run that process, I'm just going to close <gasps> close this off without saving it. This is the piece here. I've actually used in the part that we used in the 196 class in knowledge where showing how to create holes equally spaced. The rough stock is in here because I've run this a couple times so I'm going to delete the rough stock out. And what I've created is a safety plane. I'll make that hopefully easier to see. That plane may look like it's right on the part, but if I middle click on this, it will center my axis of rotation. And you'll see that that plane is above the part. so. It doesn't have to be that high. I just want it to be easy for you to see. Um, when we drill a hole, you don't want to just come straight over to the hole. You want to clear the part and then come over and come straight down. So that's what we're going to attempt to create is a uh, a tool path to drill out all these holes. So I added the, the safety plane you'll have to add. You'll have to create a block with several holes. And what I have in this part body is this pad. 
and we put a hole on it. Whoops. <clears throat> Added that hole in the top and took that hole and patterned the hole. So that's how we got the holes in it. So now that the part is done with the engineering part, the next process is to go into the NC programming part. That will be covered in the next video. Go ahead and uh, make this part, and then we'll cover the next video.